What's going on? Just um decided to be a nice person and I packed up all your stuff. That's all my stuff. Get out. When you play dirty, other people have to play dirty too. I said get out. Hmm. You know, actually, if there's anyone that needs to get out, it's you. Hey, girls and guys, it is Seth from Side Let's Play, and I am back with my Roblox family. And today, I am kicking my ex-husband out of the house and hoping to never see him again. But before we get into the video, make sure you guys leave a like. And also, let me know in the comments down below. Was I too harsh? Should I have tried to work things out with him? But who knows? Ugh. I can't wait to get everything that belongs to Michael out of my house once and for all. So I pa Oh my gosh, he's back home. <gasps> Okay, I did not expect him back home so soon. So right now, Baby Biggs, Baby Ellie, and Maddie are at the movie theater watching a film. So they're not here because I don't want them to be around this drama. Hello, Michael. What's going on? Just um decided to be a nice person and I packed up all your stuff. That's all my stuff. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, you need to back up a little bit. Get out. Well, Michael, you see, when you play dirty, other people have to play dirty too. So, uh... I said get out. Hmm, you know, actually, if there's anyone that needs to get out, it's you. So you know how you try to scam me and to steal my house? Oh, shut up. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Michael, we don't want to do this again, do we? We don't want to do this again. Okay, it looks like I will have to kick you out since you no longer have the keys to the house. So I want you to take your eyeballs and read that paper right on top of that box. And tell me what it says. Does it say something along the lines of, you know, a letter being from my lawyer and, I don't know, an eviction notice? You didn't. Oh, I did. So now, not only do I have our kids back, I also have my house back. Isn't that lovely? So, Michael, how about you get out? I'm gonna take you for everything you're worth. Every single penny. Well, you can try, Michael, but you won't win. You will never win. You wanna know why? Because I'm smarter than you. That's why you can't take me away from my kids. You don't even care about your kids. Let's be honest. When was the last time you spoke to Maddie to see how she was feeling? Uh, you know, how her mental health was. Hmm? Just a quick question. When was the last time? Huh? Who's Maddie? Wow. Your daughter? You know, your actual daughter? Oh, you mean Madeline. You don't know that she goes by Maddie and she hates that name? She hates the name Madeline. That's why she goes by Maddie. Great dad, aren't you? Anyway, you know what? I'm done talking to you. Get your stuff and get out of my house that I worked hard for, that I paid for, and never come back again because I'm going to get that restraining order renewed. I'm not leaving. Okay, then don't. I'm not dealing with this. I'll call the cops and they'll deal with you. <sighs> Why can't he just make things easy? Michael, I am not opening the door. Just get your stuff and go. We can't spend the rest of our lives fighting. Oh my gosh, fine. What What do you want? What more do you have to say, huh? Do you want to get rid of me for good? You know what? In all honesty, I wish I didn't have to get rid of you because you are my kid's dad and they do love you. But if I'm being honest, I do want to get rid of you. Well, you know how to do it. What? What do you want? Money? Is this about money? Make me an offer. Wow. So you don't actually care about the kids at all, do you? It was never about the kids. All you ever wanted was money, isn't it? Wow. Your true colors are showing, Michael. Fine. I want what I deserve. You don't deserve anything. Nothing. Nothing at all. For putting up with you for so many years. Wow. Okay. You know what? Fine. If money's what you want, I will give you a thousand Robux. Leave. Go. Never come back. Huh. I'm not giving you more than that. 1,000? Yes, 1,000. That's all you're going to get. So take it or leave it. That won't even buy me new PJs. Fine. I'll give you 5,000 Robux. That's it. 5,000, walk away, never come back. I never want to see you again. Well, how about you double that? You want me to give you 10,000 Robux when you don't even deserve a cent? And I'll be gone for good, like I'm dead. How do I know you're not actually going to come back? How do I know you're not going to take my money, lie, and try to scam me again, like you have tried to do so many times? I need some kind of insurance policy to make sure you actually never come back. Well, 
you'll have to trust me. <laughs> I wouldn't trust you. I wouldn't trust you to save me if I was drowning. I am not giving you 10,000 Robux unless I know that you're actually not going to come back. Also, this is disgusting the way you were living in this house. This coffee has been here for weeks. Look at the bathtub. Look at it. It's literally yellow. You could have at least taken care of things around the house while you were living here. Okay, say what you want then. I want to give you 10,000 Robux and I'll buy you a plane ticket to another country. One way ticket so that I know you can't come back. I'll even drop you off at the airport to make sure I watch you get on that plane because I don't trust you at all. So, what do you say? Hmm? Well, 15k? And we have a deal. I cannot believe I'm actually giving this guy anything at all because he does not deserve it. But fine, 15,000 Robux. I'll even do it right now. Hold on. All right, let me get my card. Done. Go check your account. Do you see 15,000 Robux? Huh? It's there. So, when do you want me to book this flight? And where do you want to go? Have fun with these bratty kids. <laughs> wow. I'm so glad he's actually going to be out of my life once and for all. Your stuff? Wow. Well, I guess with 15,000 Robux, he doesn't have to worry about any of these things, does he? Wow. Michael has actually hit a new low. But... I think this finally means he's gone once and for all. And you know what? I'm not wasting a single second. I'm deleting all of his things right now. <gasps> so when I pick up the kids, I know it's going to be hard for baby Biggs to accept that Michael is gone. But at least he can start fresh. And I'm not saying that Ben and I are going to start dating. But at least I actually get to just have a normal relationship with my neighbor. Be like, hey, you know, and that's it. But I honestly feel like this whole house needs to be disinfected. Because Michael was living here. And honestly, it's disgusting how he was living. Um, I know Maddie said that she was trying her best to clean. But I mean, um, she could only do so much. That bathtub needs to be bleached. I don't even know what else. This coffee right here needs to be thrown in the trash don't even know how long it's been there but finally you guys michael is gone michael is gone but like i said i know everyone's team ben but i feel like i should take a break from dating for a while what do you guys think should i take a break or should we go on our little date so anyway i hope you guys had fun watching if you did make sure to like comment and share and i'll see you guys next time bye